Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh and welcome to this episode of Ramadan with Hollandia, a program designed to educate you about fasting and how to get the best out of this season both spiritually and physically. It is the duty of the Muslim parent to teach their children all about Islam and show them how to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that is why introducing children to fasting and other acts of worship is required. This is what we'll be talking about with our guest on the show, Kuka Sanche Taradamu. Thank you for staying with us. Today we're exploring the topic introducing children to Ramadan. With me here is Mrs. Nafisa Ibrahim Abbas. Welcome, Asalaamu Alaikum. Alaikum Asalaam. Baraka Azimi. Baraka Ramadan Kareem. Ramadan Kareem to you as well. Thank you. So, Mrs. Nafisa, I have um, a couple of questions for you. The first one is, I want to know, why do you think it is important for parents to introduce their children to Ramadan? Okay. Ramadan is, um, is the fourth pillar of Islam. It's a huge part of Islam. It's very important in Islam. And we need to let our children know. We need to give our children an identity. Mm -hmm. As Muslims, they need to understand the importance of Ramadan mm. as, as a fourth pillar of Islam. Islam. Mm. So, and it's not, you need to tell children, you need to give them an identity. They are Muslims, what make them Muslims? You tell them the five, the five pillars of Islam, mm -hmm. and Ramadan is part of it. Yes. So, you catch them young, so you're trying you to say you catch them young, exactly. You, you start them up when they're like young. The new world that we find ourselves in, we need to give our children form of identity and you being a Muslim understanding Ramadan and its importance is so important for children yes I agree with you absolutely because um, your identity is who you are exactly. and um, whatever you start learning when you're young that's what that's you what carry you absolutely, exactly. absolutely so at what age do you think the children should be introduced to Ramadan you should so Sapara as me mm -hmm. what age and then um well Islam Islamically, mm -hmm. we are known to introduce children to Ram uh, compulsory Ramadan to children mm -hmm. at puberty. But before then, they should learn. And it can be as early as when they see you, when they can uh, uh, understand the concept of see seeing you fasting. Okay, okay. By so watching, when they understand it, you, yes, it can seeing be everybody at home. Once the child understands that, they are fast, mm -hmm. uh, your parents are fasting, okay. they would ask you, why are you not eating? Mm. Tell them, I'm fasting. What's mm -hmm. fasting? Then you tell them. Mm. And from exactly. Them. Mommy, I want to fast. Daddy, I want to fast. Yes. So at, at that time, mm. they, can, they can start fasting half a day. Okay. We were introduced to fasting half a day as kids. <laughs> I remember. I oh, remember. Watch, okay. As me, at 12. At 12. Yo, from, at, 6, from 6 a.m. to 12. At yes, least and it's done it's such a... Uh, they are like really excited, yes. Once it's over, they'll tell you they've reached their ah, own. As in, as in, as in, as in, as in, yeah. So, yeah. there is no timeline to introduce mm -hmm. your child. Yeah. And once your child understands that it's very important, mm. it's part of the deen, at any the time deen. they say they want to fast, please allow them try. Your... But it shouldn't be like the way adults do, like the stretch. Mm. They can take then it hourly, yes. They yes. can take it. The way they were yes. 12, like exactly. you mentioned, I remember the Mickey Yara say, Actually, it catch parang abu when you take something that is yeah, white uh, color, it doesn't exactly break your like fast. Chicken. Yogurt, I know that we take yogurt, yeah. white rice without chicken. stew, and you know, it gets them excited when you involve them in what you do. Yes, you involve children in what you do, children learn physically, they learn by seeing what you do, and when you involve them in it, they understand the importance. When you don't involve them in it, they don't understand the importance. Mm -hmm. okay. When you involve them in it, they understand that, well, this is important and this is what I will grow as a mm. child and do as well. As an adult. Exactly. Yes. So yes. you mentioned here to involve them in activities. Yes. What are those activities you think you can get them involved in to prepare them? You can um, involve them the in, in the cooking in Ramadan. And I give you so, so, so this. you involve yeah. them. My nine-year-old is always so excited because I involve her in, in the menu, mm -hmm. creating the menu. So she feels well. Yes. Right now she's been asking me, when is Ramadan? Ramadan? When is Ramadan? I have some Allah. recipes I want to Masha add Allah. to the menu. So that 
um, involving them. And also, um, there is this activity I do with my kids, mm. like some spare weeks to Ramadan. We, we create Ramadan cards, handmade Ramadan cards with them at home. And then we buy some small stuff like um, candy biscuits and all that. And they give to their friends as Ramadan gifts. Yes. So it's teaching them the act of giving mm -hmm. during Ramadan mm -hmm. and the act of, you know, showing them the importance. Yes. So when you involve children in what you do, you kind of show them the importance of what, of you what do. you're doing. And then it will come easy for them again. It will come easy for them as, as they're growing, mm. they've seen you do it, so it becomes part of them. Mm. Awesome, awesome. That's an amazing point. So mm. at what age would you say children should be introduced to Ramadan? Um, really, there is no such, there is no age or timing mm -hmm. where you say this is the age where a child is supposed to be introduced to Ramadan. Mm -hmm. The child will grow up seeing you fast, and I think once they understand the concept of fasting, yeah. you know that you're fasting, they ask you, say you're fasting, and they say they want to fast, please. they should be allowed to. Sure. Once, as a parent, you assess your child's health mm -hmm. uh, status, they're physically fit, they're okay, they don't mm -hmm. have any health complications, they should be allowed to fast. Yes, I like the fact that you mentioned when they're uh, mentally aware. Yeah. They already Once they're mentally aware, aware, they can do it. Exactly. You can see it from what they do. Eating. Sometimes you give them food, they go to school, they come back, they'll say, Mommy, my friend is fasting. I did not eat. I'm, I'm fasting tomorrow mm. as well. And you let them. Of it's course, okay. Of yes. Course. So there are other activities from the actual fasting now, does I about as in mm. it? What are other activities do you think you can engage them, you know, to get them ready for the actual fast? The actual fast. Okay. Um, for Muslims, Ramadan is a month that is filled with and packed with so many activities. Mm -hmm. From the family time you have together, from the cooking, mm -hmm. from the going to the market, so many things. So when you, when you do these activities together with them, they mm -hmm. understand the importance of Ramadan. Before Ramadan... Before this Ramadan, my child was so excited because she's always part of doing the menu with me. Okay. Mommy, when will we do the menu? Mommy, when will we do so? We sit down. I have my own oh, menu to include in this. She's already ready. ready. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So we do it together. Mm -hmm. They understand that this is important. And we, we do um, hand activities. We create cards for friends and family. We give it to them. Mm -hmm. We buy small, small things for children. We give it to them. They give it to their friends, their cousins. To welcome you know, them. To welcome them. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it comes in with so much um with so much fun for yes, them. For the so, kids. Yes. And this keeps this uh leaves lasting memories on them. Yeah. So as they're growing up mm -hmm. they realize that Ramadan is very important because this is what I have done right from when I was a child. It won't seem like an ob obligation. Obligation, it true. It be like a way of life for them. How can it? How can it? That was an interesting one. Let's move to our next segment, the Kitchen Corner. Keep watching. Did you see that smoothie? Yeah, but I can't share a lot smoothie. Yeah, it was so colorful. Yeah, it was so colorful. It was. It's definitely my go-to smoothie. Mm-hmm. But you better try it. You definitely try it. Yogurt, strawberry. Yeah, like I'm going to yogurt. Like I can do like yogurt. So We'll now continue with our discussion on introducing children to Ramadan, a responsibility that parents hold. Get word, Nafisa. How do you cope with children who are not yet of age, you know, to fast? How do you cope, cope with them if they want to fast? Um, what I would say is we should encourage them. Mm. Encourage them in a way that Ramu had a suffer. Okay. It should be very important. In your age, they ask me, encourage them, say, Katada Shisafur. You wake them up for Sahur and you monitor what they eat. I so understand that, yes. But what about those that, you know, that she karamba? They're not yet of age, but they still insist, Mommy, you know, I want to fast. And you know that they're not supposed to be fasting at that age. It's like a sweet sahur. It's a they eat and they wake up. Mommy, I'm fasting, Daddy, I'm fasting. Mm -hmm. Um, 
they can they are done or something. Yes, you just count the hours. Yes, you've tried, my child. Yeah, you understand. Even if and it's after they've slept, management. you count those hours too. You count those when they're hours. sleeping, you yeah. tell them that I yes. can't. Yes. Yes. It's time to make yes. your fast. Yes. 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 They're very young. Even if they insist, my dad's so I reset the sheet. You tell them no. Once you reach a certain hour, I'm not going to eat. Yes. Exactly. You know, children get dehydrated. Take water and milk. Take water and milk. Take water and milk. As a man can say, carry him. Take water and that. I don't like the UHT milk. Always have the opinion that you encourage them. Nyare is the as a mika kahana she just encourage them and monitor them. Toyanzong, how would you encourage children to be involved in going for prayers, giving sadaka, and other such activities? How can Nande the will make them better, Muslims? Yes, here parents should parents should encourage their children during Ramadan to. Uh, do Ramadan activities with them. Okay. When it's time for Tarawi, mm. you you either pray with them at home or you go to the mosque with them. Mm. The mother, the girls normally go with the mother. Mm. The sons will go with their father. On the other side of they the mosque, the yes. men are in front. Exactly. Not just the side yes. and, and in the afternoons, they can go for tafsir. In the afternoons, they can go for tafsir. They right. follow their parents. Mm -hmm. It's also a Ramadan activity that is very important. In the evening, the girls can always join their mothers in the kitchen. The boys can join their father in going out to give the food out. Yes, so when they're given sadaka. Exactly. Mm. Yes. And the mothers too, they can encourage their children to cook with to them. Come on, it I've been sadaka hakan night in bulk. Ayewa, afita, rabbi, you know, the most important thing in Ramadan is doing what you do with your children. Don't let them out of sight. Right. Do it together with mm -hmm. them. Invite the Ramadan culture in them and it will remain with them. All through their lives and yes, then they exactly. must have been ready um, to the suki yara, so to say. Okay, amazing. Awesome, awesome points there. Okay, let's move on to our Did You Know segment where we bring you some interesting facts. Did you know that fasting during the month of Ramadan not only involves abstaining from food and drink, but also from negative behaviors such as gossip, anger, intolerance, and impatience? That is all we have for you on today's show. Thank you so much, Mrs. Nafisa, for coming. So I have a gift for you from Nolandia. Thank you so much. Yeah. Oh, this oh. is so lovely. I have my strawberry hair as well. Thank you. Told you, Ma. Because I'm just tired of more. I want to have a share now. I'm not a madan with Holland. I am your host, Asbagabo. Ma, salam.